This instructional video is designed to show you the concept of a linear operator and how we might test to see whether or not a given operator is actually a linear operator based on that fundamental property. So if operator A is a linear operator, then it's going to have the property that when it acts on a sum of functions, this operator A can be distributed into those parentheses. So in order to test this idea out, let's consider what if the operator we're given is the first derivative. Meaning that when we apply that operator to a function, we'll get its first derivative. So what we would do is assume that we have f of x and g of x. And we want to consider can we take the derivative of a sum and treat it as the sum of the individual derivatives? So in this case, for our basic calculus, we understand that that's going to be true. Now, let's consider a different operator. Let's suppose that operator C takes the reciprocal. So when C acts on function f, we get f to the minus 1. Question is, is this going to be a linear operator? Well, we know that if we take the reciprocal of a sum, we would simply have 1 over f plus g. But if we take this one, we're going to have 1 over f plus 1 over g. So unlike this case, where all we're doing is getting f prime plus g prime on the left-hand side, and we get f prime plus g prime on the right-hand side, we can say that b is a linear operator. So let's give that a green check. And in the case of operator c, where we are raising that to the negative 1 power. This quantity is not equal to this quantity, so we'll do a red x, indicating that operator C is not a linear operator. And so this very basic test of the property of linear operators can be used to determine whether or not an operator in question is in fact linear.